noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Solo cierro aquí la, la ventana. Buenas noches. La disculpa. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Muy bien. Bien, gracias. ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien gracias, teacher. Okay. ok, qué bueno. Bueno, cansadita un poco. Un poco, ¿verdad? Así, así toca. Sí, así toca. Vaya, solamente permíteme. Vamos a ver un detalle. Ok, uh, sean bienvenidos a la clase del día de ahora. Espero que eh, estén bien, aunque cansados, pero bien. ¿Se recuerdan cuál era el tema que vimos el día de ayer o el último tema que vimos? Occupation and... ¿Qué? Ay. Bueno, se me olvidó la otra Occupation and jobs. and jobs. Jobs and occupations. Yes. Okay. All right. So we are going to continue with uh, today's class. And let me just go ahead and share something. The computer screen. Just give me one minute. All right, so we were also asking and answering questions. Let's see, uh, Catherine, Tatiana, can you please ask a question using the simple past to one of your classmates? Catherine, okay, Tatiana? Question like a... The simple yes. present question. Yes, can you hear me? Okay, and let me see. Uh, Nidia, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Okay, select Repeat, somebody please. else. Oh. Can you hear me? A repeat question, please. Okay. What do you like to do in your free time? Barbara. <laughs> ¿Por qué me gusta el viernes? No. ¿Qué te gusta hacer tus días libres? I like look TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Okay, thank you. Well, actually. Let me just check something. All right. Uh, select one of your classmates, ah, please, chimero, Tatiana. En el tocador, lo tenés. Eh, Nidia, I'm sorry. Select one classmate. Uh, Julio Orantes. Okay. Say me. Tell me. Tell me, please, for... Um, where are you from? I, I am from El Salvador. Okay.
Okay, ask the question one more time. Okay, select another one, please. Flor de María. Lord de María, have you there? Okay. Lord de María, ready? Excuse me. I, I, I am a question. I a question you. I'm asking a question to you. Um, 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 pay attention. What do you make? What do you make the weekend? What do you do on weekends? On weekend. What do you do on weekend? Um, I a visitor um, Panchimalco. Really? Yes. Okay, Flor de okay. Maria, select another classmate. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario. Why do you study English? Um, I study English because um, ¿Cómo sería para decir que me serviría para otro trabajo? Teacher? I study English uh, to look for a better job. To look for a better job. I am, I am a student English. I look for a better job. Okay. Yeah, to look for a better job. Okay, thank you. Now, today's topic is going to be related to, uh, let's see, verb to be plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Okay, let me go ahead and write it down on the white, I mean, on the Zoom chat, you will be able to see it right there. B plus adjective. and adjective plus noun. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it? Yes, we can see. Yes. Okay, great. And let's see. I need a volunteer to read uh, this lesson objective. Who is ready? Well, okay, uh, Anna has the hand up. Just give me some seconds. Okay, Anna, go ahead, please. Anna. Thank you, Chair. Okay, read it. Thank you. Yeah. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form to form W H question. Mm -hmm. 
You see that you see the present tense. Additional to where a practice, practice a conversation with which illustrate which illustrate how this topic is using a real life setting setting. In a real life setting. In a real okay. life setting. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Can you listen to? You'll practice Yes. Yes. Okay. conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled He works in a hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, thank you. Okay, Julio, continue with with the number one. I mean, I'm going to read the instruction. It says, complete this conversation, select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. Instructions. Yes. Complete the conversation. Select. I mean. Okay. Uh, yeah. There you had the the number one. Just select the best answer. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I uh, 
I have not the glasses. No, I don't watch very well. I don't see very well. Okay, another volunteer, please. Uh, how do she like? Okay. How does she like it? The next one, uh, Wilbert. Um, yeah. How... Mm -mm. How does like like it? No. Mm -hmm. Not too. Where did your brother work? Where does where, where does your brother work? Uh, Jenny asked me. Continue. How how does he like it? Okay, he doesn't really like it. Number three, Catherine Tatiana. Okay, is oh how does she eat? She like it. Okay. And are you sure? I'm not sure because I was reading the another another question, but the the correct question is where do your parents like their jobs? Where do your parents like their jobs? Are you sure? I would say, how do your oh, parents how? like their jobs? How do your parents? Yes. Okay. Another person? <laughs> Another person? <laughs> Jenny. I don't remember. Where do you they work? Okay, I don't remember. Where do they work? Okay. Uh, Wilbur, continue. Um, Conversation um, six. Um, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anne Esmeralda, next. Uh, how do you like your class? One more time. Uh-huh. I see. How oh, do you like your class? How do you like your classes? Okay. Thank you. Let's check the answers. All right, we got it. Next. Uh, it says here, by the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives, particularly you will learn B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Let's listen to this conversation. I mean, this uh, video. Give me some seconds. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives, particularly you will learn B plus adjective and 
noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title that's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring. Easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Thank you. Okay, now I sent you 
I sent you a, a screenshot for you to have a conversation and I want to have some volunteers. Let's see. Uh, the first screenshot is related to the first conversation and then we're going to complete sentences using the, senco, the second screenshot. Oswaldo and Gabriela Alvarenga, is going, they are going to be the first one. Oswaldo and Gabriela Alvarenga. Mm -hmm. Oswaldo, are you I here? Or I start. Yes, you can start. Gabriela, are you ready? No, she's not here. Okay, select somebody else. By the way, uh, turn your cameras on, Oswaldo, and also Irene. Irene? My camera is broken. It's broken. Okay, it's all right. Thank you. Um, okay, select another one. Uh, Wilbur. Who? Wilbur. Wilbur. Where does your brother work? Wilbur? In in a, I'm here. Mm -hmm. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Um, how does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the management, the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Wilbur and Nidia. Okay. <clears throat> Permítame un momentito, solo abro la imagen, por favor. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works really? in the hotel. Really? My brother work in the hotel too. In the hotel. He's too. a front he's a front desk ahead. How does he like it? No, very much. He don't like the manager. That too bad. That hotel does he work for? The Blasa. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, en esta sí puedo participar porque puedo ampliar la imagen. All right. Julio and Irene. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. Eh, no sé quién va a iniciar. Julio. Ah, ok. You're first. You first. Irene, uh -huh. inicio usted. Right. <laughs> ok. Eh, where do you work? In a hotel. Eh, yo creo que sería in, in a hospital. Oh, no. Bueno, hagámoslo pues. In, inicio yo. No, no, me refiero a que yo le pregunté de, de, de yo leí la, la que está a la izquierda, la primera, eh, el primer párrafo de la izquierda. Y usted me contestó en, en como en el párrafo de en medio. No. No. Este. Read the, read the news. 
Sí, vale, lo voy a empezar de nuevo, entonces, perdona. Eh, where does he work? Where in a hotel. What does he do? No, creo que está leyendo otra, otra. Tiene que hacer el diálogo, perdón. ¿Cómo? Este, la es que... el diálogo que están haciendo los compañeros. El que estamos leyendo es la primera, el primer, o no sé si yo estoy... Les mandé, una, les mandé una, una captura de pantalla al grupo de Zoom. La, mm. bueno, la primera sí. la, la primer que mandó es la que en teoría estamos leyendo. Ok, eh, hagámoslo análisis en Irene. Veamos si lo hacen diferente. Voy, voy. Thank you. Okay. ¿Quién inicia? Ah, uh, este. Where, where does your brother work? Eh, no sé qué, no sé cuál tengo que, tengo que leer, que leer. Tienes que contestar el diálogo donde está Rachel, Angela. No, yo estoy en otra imagen, entonces, en donde dice Simper Present, eh, we edge questions. Okay. Ajá, creo que tengo entonces, una diferente... Entonces, Ana en julio. Ok. Sí. Ana. Hola. Hola, Julio. ¿Cuál es tu hermano? En un hotel. Oh. Really? My brother work is out there too. He's a he's a he's a front agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work? Or... The place. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Interesting. It's interesting. Actuality, oh. he is. Actuality, he is the manager. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Ana Ábalos en Azucena. Uh -huh. ¿Quién va a iniciar? Where you, where you, your brother work? Uh -huh. Where does? Already, my brother work in hotel too. He's a from this engine. How does like he like it? Not very much. He's do like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Thank you. Eh, Ana Campos en Consuelo. Eh, me uní después de que mandó la imagen, Ticha, y no me, no me sale nada. Ah, ok. Eh, let's see. Consuelo en... Catherine Tatiana. Ok. okay. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from a desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Uh, does do bad. What hotel does? 
she work for? The plaza. Uh, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now let's move to the second the second image. Uh, we are going to complete some sentences using that image. I'm going to write down some information on the uh, chat, Zoom chat, and, and let's see, we are going to follow the same instructions. You're going to follow my example, okay? So for example, there you have the formula, correct? Can you see the formula on the second picture? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Just give me some seconds. I think it's loading. I'm trying to open the picture and I'm trying to make the picture bigger. Okay, just give me one minute. Okay. According to the information we have, You have, you have Arico plus profession. Let me write it down here on the chat. Okay, Arico plus profession plus, uh, let's see, plus has plus Arico. plus has, plus Arico A, plus, let's see what's next. Plus adjective, plus noun. Okay. Plus adjective, plus noun. Okay. There you have the formula. Okay, for example, according to the examples we have, it says a firefighter's job is dangerous. A fire. Mm -hmm. How do you say firefight? I'm sorry? One more time. How do you say, or what's the meaning? How do how do you say it? No entiendo la pregunta. ¿Qué quiere decir? Hola. Maybe what's the meaning? I think. Uh huh. What's the meaning? What's the meaning for a fighter? What's the meaning of? Uh -huh. See, uh, the firefight? Fire, fire fighter. Fire fighter. Es un bombero. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Es que lo estuve buscando y no, no me dio la... No, no lo encontré, la verdad. El significado. Okay, it's okay. Okay, for example, you can say a teacher 
eight teachers. Let's see. According to the example we have on the platform, you can say a teacher's job is funny. A teacher's job is funny. Okay. You can also say an electrician's job it's dangerous. Is dangerous. Okay. And according to the example, you can say, let's see. The first option, a teacher's job is funny. Okay. And that's the first example. Or you can also say, a teacher has a funny job, okay? A teacher's job is funny, or a teacher has a funny job. An electrician's job is dangerous, or an electrician has a dangerous job, okay? You also say, you also can say, okay, a pilot's job, pilot's job is exciting, exciting, okay? Or a pilot, a pilot has an exciting job. Okay, can you do the same? I gave you some examples. Let's listen to Anna. Anna, uh, by looking at the examples, I want you to give me your ideas. My teacher, Anna, is funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Flor de Maria, your idea. Uh, um, I'm sure how is um, A business manager, a business man manager job is stressful. Okay. Or a business manager has a stressful job. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me your ideas, please. Anavalos. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Give me your ideas. Uh huh. Uh, teacher, I don't understand. Okay, uh, puede ver el chat de Zoom. Ahí mandé los ejemplos. Sí. Ok. Entonces solo tiene que seguir los ejemplos. Ok. Niria, give me your examples. Uh, a nurse job is estresante. Okay. Mm, difficult. A, a nurse job, a nurse's job is difficult. Uh huh. Now the second option. A nurse has mm -hmm. 
is difficult job. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ana, let's see, Julio, your ideas. Okay, um, the police job is a difficult and very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, and the second option? Yes, I say the police job mm -hmm. is a uh, difficult and very job, very danger, danger. No, pero ahí me está dando una sola oración con dos adjetivos. Entonces, lo que usted puede decir es, a police job is dangerous, or a police has a dangerous job. Okay, entonces. Lo, lo dupliqué. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, a police job is very dangerous. Ok, and the second option? The other connection? No, the second option. Ah, ok. The police job is difficult. Uh -huh. And the police has a difficult job. Anna Lizeth? Um, teacher. <laughs> well, Al algunos um, están teniendo inconvenientes um, todavía para con el internet, dicen. Bueno. Eh, Es recomendable que estén pendientes de conectarse con tiempo y si necesitan reiniciar, lo recomendable es hacerlo antes de, de que la clase inicie, una media hora antes. Porque si eh, durante la clase siempre me están notificando, teacher no puede ingresar, y están teniendo algún inconveniente. Ok. Tómenlo en cuenta. Ajá. Ok. Um, electrician Anna is dangerous. An electrician's job is dangerous. Pero ese, ese yo se lo di, ahí lo tiene. Quiero oh, sus propios okay. ejemplos. Le cambié el nombre. Anna. <laughs> ok, bueno, otro. Um, ¿Cómo se dice este chef? Chef. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Chef. Chef. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> a chef. A chef. Uh, a chef. A chef. A chef job. Uh huh. Yes. Exciting. 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 Uh huh. And then you can say. A chef has an exciting job. Okay, let me go ahead and share the computer screen and you will be able to see some uh, professions. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay, there you have the page with professions for you to have uh, yeah. some other ideas. Okay, so for example, you can say um, a boxer has, I'm sorry, a boxer's job is so dangerous or a boxer has a dangerous job. Okay, raise your hands if you want to give me some ideas using the examples that we have here. You can say a surgeon has an extremely exciting job or a surgeon has or the surgeon's job is extremely 
exciting. Uh huh. Give me some ideas, please. Using the professions, the jobs and occupations that we have here. Guys? Um. Anavalos. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher. I would say a a housewife, a housewife's job is very difficult. Or you can say a housewife has a very difficult job. I difficult house housewife uh -huh. a housewife has a difficult job or you can a. say a housewife's job is so difficult okay any other volunteer May I? Yes, you may. Okay. A doctor's job is a is tired job. Okay. Okay, and the second option? And a doctor's a, job is a, a doctor's job is Interesting job. It's interesting. Or a doctor has an interesting job. Okay. 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 No le había entendido esa parte. Tiene... Mm -hmm. Any other vez... volunteer? Me. Yo, yes. Pero no sé. Um, Quiere ocupaciones difíciles y otras muy difíciles o cómo. No. Solo da los adjetivos. Es que son dos formas de decir un, las cosas. Por ejemplo, yo digo, a doctor's job is difficult. Estoy diciendo, el eh, trabajo de un doctor es difícil. Pero también usted puede decir, a doctor has a difficult job. ¿Sí? Entonces, la primera opción, a doctor's job is difficult. Ahí dice, el eh, trabajo de un doctor es difícil. Y la segunda opción, a doctor's a doctor has a difficult job. Dice, un doctor tiene un trabajo difícil. Y el otro right. sería el, el doctor. El, el, el trabajo, trabajo del doctor trabajo es de, difícil. Exacto, solo mm -hmm. es una forma diferente de decirlo. Y está diciendo sí, lo mismo. Okay. Ah, okay. No sé qué nivel se usan las dos siglas, ¿verdad? A, N y A. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can I order or sentencing? Yes, can you I can say? give me another sentence. Yes, a nurse job is mm -hmm. is is hard. Mm -hmm. uh, a nurse job is hard. Uh huh. A nurse job is interesting job. No, perdón. Y a nurse has a interesting job. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. A nurse has an interesting job. Uh -huh. Jenny. Um, dentist jobs is interesting. Uh -huh. Or um, a dentist has um interested how it's interesting job excellent yeah. great 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 okay next Ana Valos uh, 
A singer is a friend. ¿Cómo? A singer. Uh -huh. Ana is a friend. Mm, no. You can say a singer's job is amazing. A singer has an amazing job. Disculpe la consulta, se puede decir funny a job. Singer. Perdón, uno por uno porque no se escucha. Uh -huh. De, um, se puede decir en lugar, o sea, al revés. Eh, have funny eh, or funny job. No, eso a no tiene sentido. Funny. A funny job. Okay, es primero job funny. Primero es el adjetivo y luego el noun. Ok. That's it. You're welcome. Okay, now let me go ahead and share the yeah. uh, platform and we're going to complete an exercise. Okay, let's mm -hmm. check. Let's Como check soy... the exercise. Uh huh. Thank you, teacher. Yes, sir. How do you say it? Bailar es divertido o ser bailar, bailarín es divertido. ¿Cómo? O sea, ser bailarín es divertido. Ok. So you can say a dance, a dancer's job is funny. Or a dancer has a funny job. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Now, it says, instructions, write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence needed. Okay? And I need the first person. It says, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. And there you have, a police officer's job is dangerous. Uh-huh. How, how will it be? ¿Cómo sería esta oración? A police officer has a dangerous job. Okay. A police officer has, has a dangerous a dangerous a dangerous job. Dangerous job okay it says a teacher's job is stressful uh-huh a, a teacher, teacher has a stressful has a stressful job excellent Bueno, realmente no es estresante si, si uno le gusta, ¿verdad? I don't believe you. ¿En serio? Fíjate, fíjate que, ajá, si no, si te gusta lo que haces, no es estresante. Sí, va. ¿Sabes lo, ¿Sabes lo que a mí me estresa? Es el tráfico, eso sí me estresa. Pero okay. dar clases, no, dar clases, uh, no sé, me, me olvido okay. de las, de los inconvenientes, de todo. Y eso es lo que te digo, okay. si te gusta, no lo sentí okay. estresante. Okay. Qué bueno, vamos. Ya, yeah. a, plum, a plumber's job is boring. Uh -huh. Another way of saying. A plumber has a boring job. A plumber has uh -huh. a boring a plumber has a boring job. Okay. It says an electrician's job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. Difficult job. No. A vendor's job is easy. A vendor has an easy job. Yeah. An easy job. Vale, vamos a ver. 
Excellent. Ya pueden completar la plataforma ustedes solos. Ok, guys. Now, before letting you go, tienen un minuto para hacer preguntas. Preguntas, dudas. Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Delante, cuando tenemos la A y delante está una consonante, este se pronuncia A, no se pronuncia como A. 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 A table. Ok. Uh, A okay. computer. Ok, y cuando eh, delante tiene una vocal, como An digamos. Uh, no, pero digamos está la A. Ajá, yeah, an apple. Uh -huh. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Mm. An Ahí. airplane. An airplane. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok. Eh, pueden decir a, ah, a table, pero se escucha muy, eh, muy latino. Entonces, para mm. no meternos con pro en problemas con los gringos, mejor digamos, como ellos dicen, a table. Ah, entonces se inicia con e, e table. A table. Y en, en lo que preguntaba el, el compañero, este, AN, entonces se dice INAPO. ANAPO. ANAPO. Ah, okay. ANAPO. ANAPO. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Todo bien? Vaya, eh, recuerden que hay que ir avanzando con la plataforma. Ok. Ya mandaron ahí un comunicado que tienen que eh, seguir avanzando. Entonces veo que Julio ya está cenando. ¿O es café, Julio? <ríe> Yo si tomo café a esta hora ya no duermo. Tengo que tomar en la mañana. Solo en la ah, mañana. No, no, a mí no me quita el sueño el café. Vaya, ahí sí el Así es sí. mi señora. I am hungry. Y si se me quita sí. el sueño si tomo a esta hora café. Sí, a mí también. Vaya. Entonces no les quito más tiempo porque me voy para la otra clase. Eh, buen provecho a los que no han cenado. And see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good